Hi guys, in this lecture, we will further learn about data validation. Right now, we will focus on the product category column. If I scroll to my right, these are the three types of products I am selling. I am selling iPhone, Mac and iPad. So in the product category, I want only these three values to come in. For example, I don't want anyone to enter anything else other than these three products. So how can I create a data validation for the users to enter only these three products? Again, we have to go under data tab and under data validation, we have to click on data validation and here we get this data validation window. Click on this drop down and select the option as list. Now we get another box which is asking for the source. What we will do is we will scroll to the right and select all these three product category. Now if you notice here it says equal $L $2 colon $L $4. That means in that particular cell the users can enter only what is specified over here. Now if I click on OK and if I go into that cell now we get a drop down over here. And if I click on the drop down I see all my product category. And suppose someone enters here something else if they say apple tv they get an error message because they are allowed to type only these three options they can't type in anything else if they type a number over here again they get an error message so in this way i can control what types of data that needs to be entered in my product category also if you just think about it what is the drawback of this method Maybe if I'm going to extend my product, maybe if I think, okay, I'm going to sell iWatch as well. If I enter iWatch and now if I go into my category, I can't see iWatch. So what should I do? Again, I have to go into data validation, click on data validation. Now here in the source, I have to change L4 to L5 and then click on OK. And now if I scroll back and if I click on the drop down here, I get the iWatch option as well. Is there a better way than to go and edit the source data? Yes, definitely. there is a better way suppose if i think okay i'm gonna sell four more products four extra products i'm gonna sell apple tv i watch airpod if i decide to sell more of apple products i do not want to go and change my data source again and again one time i wanted to give the formula and it should follow automatically how can i do that we will learn how to overcome this drawback in the next lecture